I, uh, I started out doing graffiti um, on the south side on like garages and things like that. I don't necessarily think it was good, good graffiti, but I was always drawn to like, you know, doing rebellious things. Uh, I grew up in, uh, on the south side of Chicago, Inglewood, uh, the Auburn Gresham neighborhood, you know, basically like, you know, 79th Street. No, no, I didn't go to school at all. Um, there's just no way I can. I, I mean, I started taking art classes, but, uh, you know, they just was trying to tell me uh, how to do certain things. And I understood the rules, but, you know, I also know how to break the rules. So I just refused to, like, you know, doing everything that everyone else does, especially if someone is teaching me that way. It doesn't, even if it's art, it could be math, it can be, you know, it could be whatever, you know, once I learn the basic, I'm, I'm going to basically do it, interpret it my own way anyway. I definitely, definitely played with the Army men as a kid because they were so cheap. Uh, so he was able to get a, a, a bag of them uh, with, with a little bit amount of money. And I used to always like to position the men against each other. Um, and like I said, I always done like uh, political art, uh, more so rebel art, um, you know, uh, art against the oppressor. So I just thought that the Army man was, was a good marriage between the type of art that I like, want to express. It's definitely, it's, it's an abstract attitude. Uh, it's more so, of, uh, you know, just being free and uh, expressing, expressing myself through the art, uh, expressing my political views uh, through the art, you know, using the art as, as, as my form of uh, protest. Because, you know, I, I would love to be out there on the front line marching with all the protesters um, and so forth, but, you know, I'd just be like every other protester if I did it that way, so I'd rather just protest uh, via art. Uh, maybe, maybe it can stand out a little bit more, you know, but maybe not. But it's still, it's still my, it's still my opinion, and it's coming coming from my head, and not necessarily uh, someone telling me what to do. Look at the world through my art. There's some thoughts that I have, you know, that maybe, you know, maybe I can't really express it verbally, or or maybe uh, um, in written format. You know, we have experts for that. That's not really. I mean, I can think it. But the way I think it is, it is, it is through the art. I think people um, people can relate to stuff more more visually. You know, it's like you know, a mechanic can't necessarily learn how to work on cars from reading through a book. He's gonna say, "Hey, just show me how to do that," right? So that's kind of the school that I come from. Like, hey, you need to show me how to do this, and I'll learn how to do it from life. You don't necessarily need to know the technical aspects of it. Um, you know, so there's a there's an ongoing debate about that, but I, I am the type of person who like, okay, just show me this and then I can figure it out. I can interpret, you know, what I want to present. I can't necessarily speak to it, but you know, in my own little my own little language, I I can speak to it, and it, and it's a result of, of, of what happens on, on the canvas.